Sasha here from NetbookNews.com and um, that's my second hands-on time with the new Canoe Lake reference design. As I told you already after the Mooley Eden speech, for me this is definitely a kind of design statement that Intel made with this platform because we've seen a couple of netbooks or not only a couple of netbooks, let's say pretty much 250 netbooks that all look the same and everybody is coming out with chiclet keyboards right now and everybody is going uh, for maybe even more resolution on uh, the display side because it's the only way they can di differentiate from each other um, but this little device over here is just something completely new and of course we've been also showing you already how thin the device is and again you know I would love to point this out now look at this this is a new Blackberry Bolt 9700 and when we're placing it next to this device and I'm even closing it can you see the difference it is just amazing what they squeezed into this little platform over here and you know don't forget, this is running um, the new Intel Atom N550, that's, so that's the dual core Atom that we should um, expect in the market by the end of the year. But what I would like to show you is, I, you know, I was a little bit concerned about the performance of the system because it's so thin and the Intel guys told me there's no SSD in here. So I was wondering, there must be a 1.8 inch hard disk drive in there and usually these 1.8 inch 4200 uh, RPM hard disk drives are pretty slow but the whole system itself feels very very zippy and you know if I'm opening the control panel over here it's immediately getting there, let's go to hardware and sounds, bang, it's there and uh, actually what I would also like to show you, let's take a look at the screen resolution so I'm running now 1280 by 720p, uh, not 720p, actually this is 720p. So 1280 by 720, but this 10.1 inch display goes up to 1366 by 768. As you can see, I'm not switching over right now, even though it's kind of shifting the taskbar from Windows down there. But that's what the screen uh, can do over here. Let's go back to the 720p resolution. Everything, again, feels very zippy. It's running, I think this is a Windows 7 Ultimate on the system right now. Uh, it comes with 2 GB of RAM and has a 120 GB hard disk drive. Again, I have no clue what kind of hard disk they put in there. I still believe it's a 1.8 inch, but it's just very, very fast. Actually, this is by far um, the fastest netbook I've ever, ever had in my hand. It's not only the fastest one, it's the best looking one. And uh, I mean, look, look at even um, the font they were using on the keys over here. It just looks, looks very fancy, it looks very professional, it actually looks very expensive. So, um, as I said already after uh, the first hands-on, if you're putting an Apple sticker on the lid, you can sell it for $3,000. But I hope that Intel or the first OEM who's picking up this reference design is selling this device, let's say, for six or seven hundred dollars, because I'm sure that there will be a huge market for this. So this is the Canoe Lake, a very, very, very appealing netbook form factor and reference design from Intel at Computex 2010. Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.